Hi there, it's Sheree from Sheree's Craft Girls. Thank you for joining me today. My project today is this lovely Easter Bunny. Now it has been made in the past, but um, it was used made by using a lot of retired punches. So I thought I'd remake it and using the frame, let's say it's, it's right up to date. Now this one I made using the layering oval um, framelits as well as the stitched frame stitch shapes framelits and then I thought well maybe a lot of people only have one set or the other so today I'm just going to use the um, stitched shapes framelits for the the oval shapes now it's a good size um, basket this one I'm going to make on the scoring board and then I'm going to make another one which is made on the envelope punch board just in case you haven't got the envelope punch board I thought I'd make it on the um, scoring board so to start off you're going to need quite a few pieces of paper but the basket itself on this one is a 7 inch by 7 inch and you're also going to need a piece that's um, 6.5 inches by 2 inches and that's that's for the support here. So they're the main pieces. You're going to need a piece of scrap for your sentiment and a corresponding colour. I've used this one is made in crumb cake and blushing bride and I'm going to use blushing bride so I've got a piece of scrap for that and I also use that for his nose, for his ears, for his little pads and then you're going to need some um, this was Daffodil Delight and Golden Green and I used Smoky Slate for the stamps on the carrot and then I just coloured it in with pumpkin pie uh, watercolour pencils and you're also going to need a little bit of black for his eyes and I used this lovely um, basic black no I didn't use twine because I, I found the twine was a little thick so I used the basic the black metallic thread for his whiskers because they're just nice and fine like rabbit whiskers so let's get started I'm popping all these to one side taking your seven by seven inch cardstock your scoring board now i drew a very faint line down the six inch because what you're going to have to do is keep your points at the six inch mark there and the six inch mark there so it's always on that point and then making sure it stays there come down from five inches and score whoops and seven inches and i come down the groove at seven inches and carry it on through and then nine and a quarter Let's get nine and a quarter and not eight and a quarter. And again, making sure you keep keep it aligned. Nine and a quarter. And then turn. And again, make sure your point is at six inches and six inches here. And score at five, seven, nine and a quarter. And turn again so your point is at six inches and your bottom is six inches this time you're only going to do the nine and a quarter turn making sure your six inch line is all matching oops I squashed up one a little bit and nine and a quarter and there you are that's all the scoring here while we've got it we may as well do the uh, support here and that you're going to on the longer side score at two and a quarter and again at four and a quarter and there we are that's the scoring all done so pop that out of the way and before we fold and burnish where there's all these little triangles you're just going to snip them on all four sides so there's just a little where the 
diamond meets. It's just a little tiny triangle and we're just going to snip those all the way. Okay, then once we've done those, we will now fold and burnish our score lines. Oh, I've missed one. Oh, I've missed two. There's Ego. There. And fold and burnish. This is Sahara Sands because I quite I quite like um, having a slight colour on my bunny rabbit. I mean, you could do it in white, that's entirely up to you. Right, when we've got to this stage, we're just going to glue these two down. Like you can use Fast Fuse, Sticky Strip, uh, Tombow, it's entirely up to you. You're just going to stick those two triangles down. Okay? Oh, we need to cut down. These two triangles that are remaining, just snip down to the first score line. And the same on the opposite side. And here. And then you're going to bring these two points. I'll fold this one out for just a moment. So that the top runs consecutively from beginning to end. So all you need to do is on the little straight edge on one side and on the other you're just going to put a little bit of adhesive and as I say bring them in so they meet but they run a consecutive line from beginning to end. Like so. And then just put some adhesive along whoops, the edge of your box and across the top. And that will come over and seal the side of your basket. Do exactly the same on the other side. So along the edge. And across the top and there's your basket. Now you have a choice here. Once you fold and burnish your score lines here, now you can either put it on the outside like so or as I did on this that one you can put it on the inside and the reason I put it on the inside is because I thought it would just hide this little little bit here where it's a bit untidy. But it's entirely up to you. You can put it inside or out, whichever you prefer. So put your adhesive on your two end squares. And then pop those into the corresponding positions in your basket and they will perfectly align with this square and there is your basket all made. Isn't that simple and sweet? That's really really lovely. Now for the bunny rabbit I used as I said the, the layering ovals here but on these ones, I've used the stitched, um, stitched shape framelits. And for his face, I thought I did the biggest one. Where is he? I did. I thought I'd done the biggest one. One, two, three, four. And two for his feet, two for his ears and two for his face. So I used 
the second from the largest and I did four. Then the next size down, if I can pick him up, I did two for his feet. So that's two for his ears, sorry. So you've got two for his face, front and back, and two for his, two for the little ones for his ears, and then you've got two for his feet. Now the, with the stitch framers, I find they were a little bit big. I did prefer the size of the layering oval. But if this is the only set you've got, then that's fine. So four of the second from largest, two of the next size down, and four of the smallest in the pink for the insides of his feet. And then using Love Notes, I just punched out the little heart. Can you see? And that was for his nose. And I'm also going to use um, the owl punch, and I'm going to use the two here, and I'm going to punch out six of those. Oh, I need to find a little bit more pink. Let's have you. There we go. And we need six of those. So just punch those out. Two. Four. Six. There we are. There's your six little pieces for his feet. For his toes and for his nose. And I'm also going to cut out the same pink, or punch I should say, with Blushing Bride in the decorative label punch. And that's for the back of my sentiment. So I'll pop that to one side along with his toeses and two of his feet. Right, to make his face, we're going to need two half inch circles in black. And then I'm going to use one in the Sahara Sands, which I seem to have put away. You only want one because we're going to cut that in half for his eyelid. And that's all we're going to need for that. And there's his nose. So, just a, you can make it in a circle if you prefer, but I quite, I quite like the oval shape for my bunny's um, face. And taking some glue dots, we're going to pop the eyes on our bunny rabbit. This is eyes. Looks a bit scary like that, doesn't it? Now you can put your heart that way if you prefer. I'll do it that way on this one. As you can see on that one, I've put the heart as a heart, but you don't have to. And I'm just going to leave that to the side for a moment, because we need to put his whiskers in. I've got to do his whiskers. So cutting your main colour eye in half, we're just going to pop those onto his lid. Now you do need to roll your glue dot up, otherwise it'll be too thick. And then just pop that. I'm going to have it slightly, I quite like it slightly lopsided. You don't have to, you have it wherever you like. I just like it a little bit lopsided if it's a bit dozy and a bit tired. So there's his eyes. Then taking some of the metallic black thread, just, I just wrapped it round three fingers a couple of times and then cut that off. 
you don't have to be very precise. And then in the middle I just squeezed it and popped it onto my heart, which I've now stuck to my paper. Like so. And then just trim. Trim the ends off. So he's got little whiskers. It's not particularly even as even as a little bit. There we go. And let's say you can pop that this way or the other entirely up to you. And that's his little face. I'm going to then put pop the thread out of the way. A little bit of adhesive on the bottom of his place and we're going to pop that onto the back of our box. Then to do two of our ears, take two of your pink and pop them on the inside. I'm going to do it slightly to the top I think. Like that. And then again Put some adhesive along the bottom. Could you again now? I'm going to stick these to his face. They're a bit big, aren't they? Don't think I'm, I think I should. They should have been his feet. These are his ears. Silly me. The two smaller ones for his feet. For his ears. Not the big ones. I'm going to have to alter that. That's better. So I might have to just stop and recut myself some feet. And again, as I say, some adhesive at the bottom to pop. His ears on. That's much nicer. And there's my little bunny. And then you need this one at the back. So making sure it's got lots of adhesive, especially around the edges. So you might want to use Tombow if you're more comfortable doing that. And then just to neaten that up, you're going to lay that literally. On the back, just so it hides your workings. You could write a little message on there, it's entirely up to you. Right, so going back to his feet, and oh, I don't know. Let me just see. You have to get that one off, that's fine. And No, I'm going to have to cut another pink one out. Just bear with me a second while I cut just another small. Just pop it through your big shot in a matter of seconds. that onto the bottom on your foot like so and then with the little circles that you cut out pop them all upside down and you're just going to with a glue dot now you're going to make his toes so, one at the top, and two at the sides, like so, and the same on this one. Up at the top. Oh, glue dots coming off the strip 
and um, at the side. And they just look like it's little pads. Like that. And then you're just going to do those onto Let's hide that glue dress and hide it very well, is he? So don't worry about that one. Just a stick and pop his little feet onto the box. Like so. They are lovely big pads. And then what I went ahead and done, because there's such a lot of them, I cut out some daffodils. Oops, like so. I'm going to put this one down there, because to cover that sticky bit there. And I'm going to pop some carrots in, in there. And these all come... You can, you've got the stamp and you've got the framelits to cut all these out um, in the basket bunch. So I'm just quickly using bits of fun's views, stick a daffodil there behind that foot, the two carrots there. Because he's a rabbit. And another daffodil there. I'm going to stick that one where I'm mucked up there. But that's fine. And then I've just cut some leaves as well. And again, just popping those behind his foot and under there and the same on the other one well that's quite hidden so I might pop that leaf there along with the stem of the daffodil there and then just trim that off And there's the front of your basket. So you've got two different versions. And then just to do the sentiment, I'm going to use the sentiment, may all your chocolates be solid. Because then I think I should put some solid Easter eggs in there. No, which one was it? Lost it, lost track. There we go, it's that one. And I'm also going to use, let's put that onto a B block. And I'm going to use the little Easter eggs. Now I was going to use that one, but I decided not to, so I'll put that one back. So this is the little run of Easter eggs. And I'm going to do that in Sahara Sands. I'm going to do the sentiment in Blushing Bride. So take a little piece of your white cardstock, ink up your sentiment. May all your chocolates be solid. Beautiful. Clean it on your stamp and scrub and pop it away and that was on the uh, B block and on the H block and I'm going to do this in Sahara Sands and I need a little bit of scrap paper and I'm just going to pop the eggs underneath. Now you can decide, you can choose to colour those in as well and at the top like so. Clean and pop away and then you know all your framelits and all your stamps are where they should be. Pop your ink block in, 
so that doesn't dry out. And taking your de decorative label, punch it out your sentiment. And it should just align it so it's nice and central, like so. And with this one, I'm going to cut in half. No, can you just say this is entirely up to you? I'm just going to put it on my scoring tool, align the two points onto the groove, and trim in half. And then it hasn't cut. So I'm just going to have to trim it down anyway. Take off your points on both sides and using your adhesive just along the edge you're going to pop that so that just shows a little bit there the same that side just so it shows a little bit and then a couple of <coughs> dimensionals on the back and we are done. All needs to be done now is to pop in your mini X or whatever treat you're giving them. So pop that on there in the centre. And there's our little bunny made up to date. I don't know which way you prefer his nose, upside down or the other way. But there we are. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please like and subscribe. Until next time. Oh, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time. Take care. Bye.